Welcome back, guys, to Live Alive. Well, last episode, our sixth story began as we headed into the near future and begun The Outsider. As a young boy with strange powers, including the ability to read minds, Akula came under attack by the Crusaders, who tried to kidnap him, with a local businessman known as Lawless coming to help fend off the masked thugs. Returning to the orphanage where he lived, Akira found his sister Kaori distraught at the health of her tortoise, so he headed off to Timeless Wonders Antiques to ask Dr. Tobey for help. Ah yes, the Mata Transmitter. I gotta ask, why is there no uh, sinks in the bathrooms? That seems like a design floor of the near future. Feast your eyes, my boy, as I demonstrate the sheer power of science. First I'll set the coordinates and then... To settle down, I'll have this up and running shortly. So he knows I might reading him too. What, what are you doing? Get down from there immediately! But it, it told me to get on it. Oops. Looks like today's just not my day. You better go on ahead, my boy. I don't know why you didn't get that bit, like, voice. Oh, well, today is not your day indeed. I knew it would be dangerous. <laughs> then why did you suggest it? Is it what? Walking's good, but I guess there are those weird people that might just kidnap you. So, yeah, I can get around. I, I, I can get why you wouldn't. Cyber, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Let's get another one. Oh, these new, these guys are new. I said the one in the back still the main target. Shut up already! Interesting, the overpowering mechanic. It's the most important mechanic for this chapter. Well, we only actually saw this it a hell. little bit before in Captain Square, really. Interesting that is now taking the forefront. I do wonder if I can run into something that's a bit tougher than I'd like to fight, though. Shut up already! Because at this point, just being able to take out the leader is very easy. Who's a badass? to level up again. I think I should drop a save just in case, you know. Some games, of course, it ends up being kind of a negative to level up too fast. But if you're right here, I may as well take the shot. Well, I think we've got the KO again. And then you can see what behind you is. Shut up already. Mother's shame is enough to critically what? injure all of these leaders. a badass. Never underestimate the shame. I'm pretty good at this. Of a person. Sleep in heaven is learnt. Well, that's a nice name for an ability. We're back. Uh, how's the Misawa match going? And that's the end of that round! It's up to round 23. They're still going at it. It'll never end. So, what did he say? Doc Tobey's on the way. I'm pretty sure he's got a plan. Everybody. 
sorry I'm late. Troubled with the matter transmitter. Too much quantum. Uh, or too little. In any event, I opted for a less scientific means of locomotion. I walked. Now, allow me to examine this alien amphibian and reptile of yours. Great Scott! Little Teroimo is on his last legs! Liquefaction is our only recourse. Fortunately, I came prepared. This machine will serve as a host for his liquefacted essence. Taraimo will live again through the power of science. Uh, indeed, liquefaction. <laughs> You're turning the turtle into a robot? Indeed. I'll just affix these electrodes to his body. Be a dear and plug this power cable in. Uh, okay. I'm sure there's a socket here somewhere. Well, it's shiny, so I'm pretty sure it's there. How do you feel about this, Kaori? <laughs> Cowardly. There's a socket over in the corner, yeah, but about the, the whole liquefaction of your pet. Why does he keep calling him Tonoimo? I didn't name him after a vegetable. Be careful with that. That was made from the fragments of over 40 smashed brass kettles, I have you know. No, sure, okay. Can't speak to you or mind read you. I guess I'll plug in the robot for the liquefaction of my sister's turtle. Ah, there it is. Give me a sec. Okay, uh, did we just transfer the professor, or the turtle, or both, or... This is, um... Yes... So many questions. <laughs> no, he's still alive. <laughs> Isn't science marvelous? But wait... Wait, wait, wait... Maybe. Just maybe. You've actually succeeded? The Steel Titan might also be a suitable. Wait, what? You want to put a turtle of in a course! Steel Titan? <laughs> That's it! That's it! Man, well, this is just way confusing. Do you speak, turtle? Whoa, whoa. It's really moving. It is. Thank you, Kaori. Oh, it, it 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 appreciates it. Hey, quit following me. So I became your new best friend. Oh, he's a that I know. I'm so glad you're alive, Tarukichi. Or are you Tonoimo now? Doc did save your life, so I guess it's okay if he names you after a vegetable. So many questions. We now have a turtle friend. Who can put fire enemy flying punch. Fire enemy stretch kick. And all enemy attack revenge. Come with me. Turtle that now has... Balls for hands. So down, children. It's time for your afternoon nap. <sighs> like I need an afternoon nap. What am I, a baby? We 
do indeed have Robo Turtle. Rose, has it filled up the room with his silent stinkers again? Anyway, you got any snacks on you? <laughs> Here? Here. I guess I don't really. But Tango like good enough? I don't really have any. Sorry. I mean, if it was Aki, then it'd be cool, I guess. What, that filled it with farts? Psst, come by the washroom later. We can discuss our plan there. I have a plan. So you got something for me? Not this time. What do you want? Was it something I ate? I can't stop farting. Aki's just asleep. Oh, hey, what's up? You passing out snacks? I'm all out. All out. But... Whatever. She wants to smell Aki's farts? I'm very confused. Give me another Taiyaki, Masu. When you say later, you mean much later then. There we go, that's the laundry done. Far too confusing. Oh, what's this? Whoa, the matron's crochet. Sure. I don't know if you mean this washroom or you mean this washroom or you mean this room, which is a washroom too, when you think about it. I can change from that to that. She's been working on this piece of ages. I guess I could wear it somewhere? Oh, specifically somewhere, eh? Maybe a Tarakichi can wear it. There we go. Actually lowers his special attack by 12. I don't want to sit on the toilet. <laughs> it's a blind playthrough. <laughs> Just gonna say that. But don't worry, I got it! Taiko's dirty little secret! Oh, what's this? A wad of Watanabe's pocket! I said pocket money, not pocket lint. Get back in there and try again. No need to be a jerk about it. Trying to steal money? Okay. I wonder how much statistics a pocket lint gets me. Still can't believe you seriously thought this is what I wanted and what the hell is the smell? It's... Probably far... I don't even know anymore. Where's Kazu gone? I know, Lawless Matsu wouldn't get into scraps at the drop of a hat. I mean, he did. How do they knew how much we owed to that young man? SNN News. Authorities have received more than 1,500 missing person reports since the start of this year. What? SNN News. Authorities have received more than 1,500 missing person reports since the start of this year. And they haven't done anything slash got to the bottom of it? What? <laughs> level of ineptitude are we speaking of here? Where's the matron gone? She's gone gone. What well, Nabi should be headed to the washroom right about now. Oh, you want me to get back in there again? This is Teiko's pouch. It's fine, I love being a thief. As long as that in my star, I can see why Teiko would rock it. 
So it's actually a lowering in defense and no actual extra stat here. But for you, that's much better than that. Congratulations on your new bit of gear. How many times do I have to go to the washroom for one autonomy to give me stuff? Why have I got this kid stealing everyone's stuff for me? <sighs> got my own little racket going on here. Got something for you. Right, better get going. Just moving back and forth stealing stuff from people? Take us picture? Am I just stealing stuff from the matron lady? I give her a hard time just being good to me. Maybe I'll keep it in my breast pocket. Okay, I could do, or I could give it to you because it's better defense here. Ready to go in here again now? How much stuff can I steal before we get rumbled? What? Got something for you. Right, better get going. It never ends. This is oh. Hey, what are you two doing in there? Let me guess, you're making him do your dirty work again. Am I right? Honestly, grow up. <laughs> What's this? Dago's furious fist has been obtained. What did you do that for? I know, I got slapped. And for that, I got some gear. The concentrate rage of a teacher is sick of your shit. <laughs> uh, fair dues. Well, that's way better than the gear I have, so okay. Thanks for the upgrade. Ah, there's nothing like the scent of fresh laundry on a nice sunny day. La 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 la. Ah, I've not seen Kenichi in a while. Yuki's so mean, she keeps calling me Sir Fars a lot, but it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, you got any food on you? Sorry. Sorry dude. Thanks for nothing. I don't just carry food. I'm like a fine friend of a girl I like. Can I wash my hands here as well? For some reason this chapter is obsessed with water. The question is where to go now? Back to the guy's store, is it? What's this way, first of all? I could tell which is what. Oh, well, I've been seen. Checking things out ahead of time is a bit. It's a scoop of research facility. It's a research facility. You got a point with someone? Hell no. This ain't no place for kids. Can you let me read your mind. What's this problem? No one's telling me anything. The tent suits aren't telling me nothing. Looks like I can go to a bar as well. Ah. Got him. There's a few more opponents here. Find you sleep in heaven. Help enemies relax so they take a nap. It supposedly is an attack as well. Let's sleep, sweep the leg. Sleep it off. Do RC cars sleep? You. It does zero damage. 
He did make absolutely everything go to sleep, though. Robot turtle noises it intensify. The Nymo doesn't level up. Maybe the robot parts are what level it up. Just a thought. Uh, where are you? Oh, there's another downstairs. Did you see that before? And another downstairs. What the? <laughs> Random jar. And another downstairs. Now there's a. Okay, uh, what? I'm confused. <laughs> How many downstairs do you have? Is this just a toilet? Have you got poo on your hand again? Whoa. Okay. Whoa. What the hell is that? A certain level of increased quality on that droid, I feel. <laughs> This ancient robot you see before you was controlled by individuals using psychokinesis. But since no one can effectively harness these powers anymore, our only other option is to rely upon the liquefacted human operator. Ah, but what is a liquefacted human, you ask? It is one who has transcended their physical form that they might unlock their latent psychokinetic potential. As such, there are only two ways we are going to get the Steel Titan here moving again. Either by finding a sufficiently powerful wielder of psychokinesis, an unlikely prospect, or by infusing the Colossus with the liquefacted essence of a human being. If you need someone with superpowers, then I'm your man. What's that, boy? You think you've got what it takes to command it? I mean, probably not. Why just say hell yeah? <laughs> hell yeah. In that case, I'll be waiting for you upstairs. Hurry now! Regrets may be had. Is my mind power is good enough? Because I hope it is, otherwise we need to get a human liquefacted at some point in time, which is not a good prospect. Potentially murdering all that. And I don't want to be liquefacted. Ready? Good. Now listen carefully. First, you must go and touch my pink elephant. Then, after that, you must read a passage from that book over there. Next, you must describe my siren and afterwards, lay your hands upon the blue mask. Finally, you must return to the basement and offer up a prayer to the Steel Titan. When you've finished, scrub your hands thoroughly, head into the washroom and crouch over the toilet. What? <laughs> so he said to touch the pink elephant, come up here, read a passage from that book, do something with the xylophone, blue mask, say a prayer to the Titan, go to the bathroom... I only wash my hands and sit on the toilet. Ready? Good. Now listen carefully. First, you must go and touch my pink elephant. Then, after that, you must read a passage from that book over there. Yeah, yeah. Next, you must describe my siren and afterwards lay your hands upon the blue mask. The blue mask. Finally, 
You must return to the basement and offer up a prayer to the Steel Titan. There you are. When you've finished, scrub your hands thoroughly, head into the washroom and crouch over the toilet. Can you believe I just got all of that, like, I heard it the first time while it was being nonsense and I actually remembered it all? That's weird. Oh, the pink elephant's there. I thought the pink elephant was down here. I don't really want to give it a mind read right now. I'm worried. <sighs> Temper your expectations. So we need to touch the elephant. Okay then. Read a passage from the book. Okay then. Strike the xylophone. Okay then. Excellent. Good job. Touch the blue mask. Okay then. Go all the way downstairs and say a prayer to the Titan. It's quite a long way. I thought the pink elephant was down here, to be honest. The blue elephant. Okay, then. Suitable reflection for what's going on here. I'm here to say a prayer. Oh, Steel Titan. King robot of all robots. Praise be to your uh, mechanicalness. Okay, then. Praise be. Now, I guess uh, I wash my hands thoroughly, which actually makes it sound like I wash it more than once, but I'm going to wash it once. <laughs> I didn't know I needed to wash my hands to boost my psychokinetic potential, but still. We learn new things every day here. And now I'm going to crouch over the toilet. Okay! Stop the music! We require music, do we? Sure. Use those five levers to control it! Come on! Show me what you can do! Which ones do I need to press first? Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Wrong lever, I guess. Let's try the actual wheel. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Not successful as far, am I? Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. <laughs> Just turn the lights on and off. Great. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out.
Can we just liquefy the professor? Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. I think I can't do it. No good, huh? Wow, sorry, ghost. Unfortunately, my mech rider dreams did not come true. As I go up with my toilet entering device. <laughs> if you come across anything interesting, you make sure to bring it straight to me. For inspiration can be found even in the banal and the nonsensical. Okay. You can give Dr. Tobey items and ask him to improve them. If successfully, he will present you with a new item, but his methods are unpredictable and there is no telling what he will come up with. No less, you may be pleasantly surprised. Yes, my boy! Okay. Got something for you. Do I need to, like, level up more for this kind of thing now at this point? What about Watanabe's pocket lid? Oh, <laughs> I see. Hmm. I'd like to say, but it actually went rather poorly. Okay, what what did it become then? You have to explain. Nothing actually happened. It didn't turn into anything. Yes, my boy. Got something for you. Fine then. Well. Changing the crochet, or I don't even know if I want to change it. <laughs> uh, let's go out in the world. I'm so confused. Confound it. How to solve this conundrum? Obviously, liquefying a human seems to be the key. 